Welcome back everyone. Here I have iPhone X Max and it had liquid damage. The customer put it into rice and got some rice stuck into the port. Um, so I'll be taking out that little rice inside there. Uh, if you Google online, they say put it into rice for a couple days to get the moisture out, but I've always found that there's usually some water still in. So the best method I found was just to remove the screen and then get a hot air dryer to dry out the internals components of the phone. Okay, so I hope you enjoy, and if you enjoy uh, repair videos, consider subscribing to my channel. Now, if you have liquid damage, you can just put it in rice, but to verify that all the water is out of the phone, I'd recommend, I don't know, taking it to a professional and then opening it up. And then putting the, taking it with the water from the inside. I would suggest that because water, Electronics do not mix. They don't go hand in hand. No, they don't. So. We can see a lot, a lot of water. So, what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the the battery.
disconnect the battery connector, which is this one right here. So we disconnected the battery and I'm just going to get, I'm going to get my hot air, just so uh, the hot air uh, dryer to just blow some. for this phone she's kind of dead she's not charging at all you can see on my power supply it basically jumps up to 200 and then turns off so there's an internal short most definitely because you should get 800 milliamps like when it's uh, charging so it's trying to like, do a boot up process so there's basically still a short. Anymore. I don't know. Maybe I can. The best way to remove water from the foam, I think, is not through a bag of rice, but would be opening it up and then just using a hot air dryer. I think that's uh, the most fast method and never try to turn on. So if you have water damage or fell into the river, whatever, fell in the lake, fell in the pool, do not turn on. If you turn on, your phone will die. It will short out components, and when water, it'll even corrode the internal lines. That like the traces. So, it's definitely not a good thing.
this bad guy back together. So that's it for this video. Water damage. iPhone X or any kind of phone. If you get if it falls in the pool or whatever, don't try to turn on. Um you can put it into a rice bag, but this usually even got rice in the port. Um what I would do is take it to a technician so that they can open up the screen at least and then they can actually clean out all the water inside. That's the most fastest way and don't try to turn on the phone. That's my advice.